outer bike is probably one of the best bike demos you could hope for. Almost all of the major brands are here and you get the opportunity to demo your guts out for three days. This was my first time attending Outer Bike and I wanted to give you guys a few tips in case you decide to come to this event at some point. Tip number one is to create a list of bikes that you'd like to ride at Outer Bike. Get online, check out the specs, check out what size bike you think you're going to need and just come prepared so that you're not wandering the lanes just looking aimlessly for a bike. You've got some direction. Tip number two is that there are some extra events that go on with Outer Bike. There are pre-outer bike shuttles and there's also things going on during outer bike like clinics and tech classes and things like that. So hop online and see if there's anything else you want to sign up for while you're here. Tip number three is to take advantage of early check-in. They had check-in the night before the event actually started. So we were able to show up, get our wristbands, get our cards. That card is super important because that's what you're going to hand the bike companies. They'll hang on to that while you're demoing the bike. Then you get it back, you can hand it to the next company. So it's really nice to get that all set up the night before so you don't have to worry about that. Tip number four is to arrive at Outer Bike early in the morning, especially if you want to ride some of those bikes that are with the big brands like Yeti or Ibis or Pivot. So if you really want to make sure that you get those bikes, just know that the people who got the bike they wanted were the people who showed up a couple hours early. And you know, waiting, it really wasn't that bad. People were so nice, friendly, there were great people to chat with, and there was no stampeding or punches thrown when they threw open the gates at nine o'clock. We also saw the people that we chatted with in line later in the day, and it made us feel like we had instant friends here at Outer Bike. Tip number five is that there are some things that you're gonna wanna make sure that you bring. You may want to bring your pedals just as a backup because some of these places didn't have platform pedals, some of them didn't have the right clip pedals for some people, so it's a great idea to have your pedals in hand. All your basic gear that you'd normally expect, have your helmet, have your gloves, and I recommend having a hydration pack because these are demo bikes and they don't have water bottle racks. Also make sure that you bring some sunscreen and some chapstick because it is not only sunny here, but even when it's not sunny, it is very dry. Tip number six is to look for reservation sign-up sheets. Toward the end of day one, some of the busier brands started taking sign-ups to reserve their bikes for the next day. That'll also help you not have to come two hours early to get that Yeti for the shuttle. Tip number seven is just to know that the trails right here at Outer Bike may not be the best testing grounds for some of the more aggressive bikes. If you want to test a bike with more than 140 millimeters of travel, you may really want to take advantage of the shuttles. If you just want to ride as many bikes in as little time as possible, I would say stick around here, you can get a bit of a feel for them. But if you're starting to zero in on a couple of bikes, I would really take advantage of the shuttle so you can really push those bikes. Tip number eight is that you can probably demo more bikes than you might think, but you may want to consider pacing yourself. You could conceivably demo four, five, maybe even six bikes a day if you just stay close to Outer Bike here and don't take the shuttles, but you're going to get tired. If you're going to test these bikes, you're going to want to test these bikes. You're going to be pushing yourself, and you might burn out by about two or three o'clock in the afternoon. So you may need to pace yourself too. It just kind of depends on what your goals are. Tip number nine is to keep an open mind. You may see brands that you've never heard of here, and you may stumble across bikes that were never on your radar. I know you've got that list of bikes you want to ride, but maybe be willing to try something. Talk to other people. You may hate 29ers, but perchance hop on one and end up loving it. Or you may feel the same way about plus bikes, or whatever it is. So just keep an open mind and be willing to be flexible about what you ride here. Tip number 10 is the easiest one. Remember to have fun. It's not just about the bikes, it's also about the bike community. So have fun, meet people, enjoy your time here. Outer Bike is a fantastic party. It's probably one of the most well-organized parties I've ever been to.